Word of your amazing success has preceded you. Well done. But events are moving faster than we anticipated. The Council is calling an emergency conference with the Supreme Chancellor, and we need you to attend. Surely the Jedi Council and the Chancellor can manage without me. We need your unique skills. The conference is being held on Tython at the Temple. Come as soon as you can. There is also another matter we should talk of in person. They need to talk? Hmm. Trust me, Jedi, nothing good ever follows those words. They've certainly piqued my interest. I'd hope not. But if such illustrious personages demand our presence, I suppose we shouldn't keep them waiting. The Supreme Chancellor, this is so exciting. Ugh, and no time to recompile my hair. Ah, welcome. Supreme Chancellor, allow me to present the only living Barsenthor of the Jedi Order. The Council has told me of your exploits. Remarkable. You may be exactly the person I need. I take it you're seeking my services. Yes, but I also need your discretion. You may not be aware that the Empire is not our only concern. The Republic itself is on the brink of collapse. Across the galaxy, many worlds are talking about secession. Even open rebellion against the Republic. This is no time for internal squabbling. We should be united against the Empire. A small league of powerful planets and individuals has emerged, calling themselves the Rift Alliance. This Rift Alliance claims to have lost all faith in the Republic. Those worlds are threatening to sever all ties, permanently. But the Republic is badly weakened. The Rift Alliance controls critical resources, armies, trade centers. If they leave, the Republic will die. This Rift Alliance must understand they're placing billions of lives at risk. I want to assign a Jedi as my representative to the Rift Alliance. To prove the Republic takes their grievances seriously, this Jedi will be tasked with solving any problems the Rift Alliance may have to restore its faith in the Republic's strength. When I asked the Council for candidates, yours was the first name they suggested. If these worlds are determined to leave the Republic, one Jedi is not going to change their minds. Jedi have changed the fate of the galaxy. This is not impossible. Not for the right person. Which brings us to the other matter I mentioned. We would, naturally, not assign anyone less than a Jedi Master to such a task. But your strength and courage have long shown you merit the rank. How could I refuse such an honor? Kneel, and the Supreme Chancellor will bear witness. We are one voice, one order, bound together by the Force. Through his actions, this Jedi has proved worthy before our order and the Force itself. We grant you the rank of Jedi Master. Protect and guide the Republic as the Force guides you. Rise, and may the Force be with you. Congratulations. It is a pleasure to welcome you as a fellow Master. Perhaps now I can finally strive for greatness. Well said, Jedi, and well done. I've convinced several diplomats from the Rift Alliance to be guests aboard a Republic flagship, the Fortitude. Rendezvous with the Fortitude and meet with them. Quickly. You are now my best hope to keep the Republic in one piece. I'll have this Rift Alliance back in line before you know it. Do what you must. Just remember, we rely on their goodwill. And thank you. Perhaps the Republic will have a future, after all. Hello? You're the Jedi they were sending, yes? I can't talk any louder. Someone right here. I'm Nadia Grell. My father and the other senators. We were all invited here by the Chancellor. But then the ship was attacked, boarded by people calling themselves Sith. Nadia, make sure no one can find you before we talk anymore. I'm in an air vent on the command deck. I can't go too far from the bridge. The one in charge is called Eryx. He just cut his way through the crew. 
and he ordered all the senators onto the bridge and locked it. My father's in there, but I can't get to him. I just hid. Don't fret, Nadia. None of this is your fault. Please, you have to save him. There's a console on one of the lower decks that can open the bridge. Here, I'll send you the location. Please hurry. I saw the Sith tampering with the engines. We might not have a lot of time. Caution. Navigational computer illegally locked. Fail-safe systems have been disabled. Collision with Duralia's surface is imminent. Recommend immediate course change to avoid casualties. Oh, wonderful. My genius is about to be snuffed out thanks to some Imperial grunts ham-handed sabotage. Get away from him. I'm warning you. I won't let you hurt him. Nadia, don't! You just end up shooting yourself, girl. Drop it, or your father and your Jedi friend here will die very, very slowly. Your father's safe now. I won't let anyone else be harmed. No, Jedi. My orders were no survivors, and it'll be a pleasure to obey. Your ambassadors will die, and this ship will be destroyed. Pitiful, like slaughtering Nexu cubs. But Lord Kairos demands that your Rift Alliance suffer and fall. Whoever Kairos is, he sent you on your final mission. Hmm. My lord might find the girl an appealing prize of war, once she's incapacitated. But the others must die. It is commanded. And you, Jedi, are in my way. Allow us. That's quite a good Let's settle this. Nadia, don't you ever! What were you thinking? He might have killed you. I'm sorry, Father. I couldn't just hide while you were in danger. Charming, really. You will talk later, Nadia. The planet's looking dreadfully close, and I saw that Sith lock the navigational computer. If you can all stop arguing for a moment, anything you know about the ship could be useful. Wonka, stupa uwana! That Sith also destroyed the life support and fire control systems, so I hope you have another ship for us to evacuate onto. Please! I, I don't want to die! Shush, Blazus. Jedi, could we overload one of the engines to change course? We'd likely hit Duralia's moon instead, but there'd be time to escape. Just. That's dangerous, but better the moon than Duralia, I suppose. Yes, yes, I thought so. Millions could die if we hit the planet. Wait! We can't do that! If we crash the ship into the moon, it'll... Tekalia Srekgrula Mosca. I want to hear what she has to say. Go ahead, Nadia. If the Fortitude crashes into Duralia's moon, it'll change the planet's tides. Whole cities might flood. But the Fortitude's thrusters still work. If we work together, maybe we could steer the ship into orbit instead. You need to take everyone to the controls right away. But we could save Duralia and the moon and the ship could be salvaged. These people aren't Republic officers. They've never flown a ship before. They just need to know when to turn the thrusters on and off. I, I can tell them. Which Jedi? Time's short. Either we steer the ship, or you'll need to crash it into the moon. I'll overload one of the engines. Everyone else evacuate the Fortitude. Now. Y yes, Master Jedi. I understand. Just <laughs> Jedi, once the engine is set to overload, get out as soon as you can. Good luck.
looks like we're safe, but w w what happens now? As I understand it, we've been given a Jedi Master to address our every need, right? Every need may be a little strong. I'm here to secure your place in the Republic. Excellent, excellent. Shall I introduce everyone? First? Representative Alani, who can introduce herself. This is Diab Duan. He represents a planet rich in lightsaber crystals, you call them? Hello. Ty Corden, Trade Secretary for Balmora. You're the Barsenthor, the Warden of the Jedi Order, right? You should feel honored that someone of my rank would see to your grievances. Next is Shuru. He is from a water planet called, uh... I I'm Blazes. If you need any help from... Well, not that you need... Hello? And I'm Senator Toba Skrell. My daughter and I are from Sarkai. We've, uh, only just joined the Republic. But we were invited to join this Rift Alliance almost right away. Wasn't that nice? We certainly don't lack for diversity. Ah, the Republic. Good at words, but nothing else. If you're really here to help us, prove it. What about Tai? His world's under Imperial occupation, and the Republic's utterly failed to liberate them. Twice. Alani, there were good reasons for the Republic to pull out. Even I see that. Although, if you did help to free Balmora, Jedi, you'd certainly prove the Republic isn't a failure. An Imperial occupation is reason enough to assist you. Technically, Balmor is not a Republic world, just a Republic ally. But the Empire didn't care. Since the occupation, Balmor's government has been in exile, myself included, and our droid factories are under Imperial control. But if Balmor is liberated, I'll see we join the Republic and bring our droid armies with us. I shall hold you to that promise after we celebrate victory. The Republic actually helping Balmora? That would be... a start. Either we work together, or the Empire will destroy us. You'll see the Republic's true strength, but we expect your full support in return. Yes, th that sounds like a, a good idea. On a Jedi ship? I never dreamed I'd... I can't wait to see everything.